Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so today I thought I'd show you um, my new kit. It's the Blue Butterfly Collection. Um, so this is in my Etsy shop, so I'm really excited about this. I know some of you have already got it. Um, so I'm going to show you a few little things that you can make with it because um, I showed you them in my giveaway and a few of you asked me about how to make the tag so I thought I'd show you how to do those today so but I'll flip through the the papers first so we've got um, nine papers and we've got two um, lots of smaller papers which are in in the little postcard size and a page of like embellishments so I'll go through these first quickly so they're absolutely gorgeous I absolutely love them so these are beautiful Oh, beautiful butterflies and roses so it says butterfly wings on there beautiful butterfly okay quickly flip through them that's a lovely one really really like that one and then this is them shrunk down and we've got four on a page and these are perfect for making little journal cards with and that's another one two pages here that's just a plain one it's got little lines on it it's like little music lines that is and that's the other one with the four the four postcards on there and this is the one with the embellishment bits on it so we've got butterfly flowers rose dream and wish and i've already as well i've printed it out on sticker paper so this has gone through my printer so this is just a, a great big piece of sticker um, and this is brilliant because what I do I cut them out and then I just stick them on envelopes um, so if I've got to pop something in the post so I think some of you have already had these um, on your parcels um, I've just cut them out and I've stuck them on on the post so I think that's a really good idea and it looks lovely really really nice so you can stick them in your journals on the front of your journals um, and I think they look lovely so that's a good idea which I do like doing so I'm going to show you that so that's those bits so I'm going to show you a few things that I have actually made here look so a bunch of bits so this is a lovely envelope um, and I've just popped one of the little embellishments on there which I've backed with card um, and it's just like used for the closure so you just pop that in there and it flips across and then we've got the butterfly and some um, cheesecloth on there so I thought that was really nice and then we've got a little bow and some butterflies and it worked really well with the stickles um, I think it looks really really pretty this one here um, is just like a trifold envelope um, and I've got a little sort of almost like a little belly band which I've hung one of the little tags off here and I've just wrapped a little bit of ribbon around there a piece of lace I mean and that's just pops over there as the closure and then inside here I've made a couple of little books here and these are lovely because it's just made out of the little journaling cards and they're perfect size um, to make tiny little books with a little bit of tea stain paper inside and a little bit of glitter on the front so there's two little books and then I've just made some writing papers here to go in there so I've just um, all as I've done is cut a piece of the um, digital paper in half and made it into two little journaling um, little writing papers which I thought looked really pretty and there this just says butterfly on there so I thought that looked really nice and that just goes over the top and then these bits which I thought I'd make today got some lovely little tags so this one just says dream this has got some of the little back, the backing paper on this is made out of the little journaling cards as well um, a little bit of rose trim there a few butterflies so really really simple um, but they look so pretty um, and then I've got two diddy little ones here and what I've done I've just cut two of the little butterflies out of the paper and pop them on there with a little bit of rose trim some seam binding and a bit of lace and that's just a piece of one of the, the roses off there and then this is just the, one of the round ones so there we go so i'm going to make a couple of the big tags and the little tags um, today so let's pop these to the side over here 
Right, so what I'm going to use, let's take some of this paper. I'm going to use, so this is the bit that I was cutting out before. I'm going to use one of these. Let's have a look. These here. So these are just the smaller ones, which are really, really lovely. So I'm going to cut these out. I've already cut around this one. Um, so I've actually got one of these today. This one's arrived for me, um, which is my new Fiskars cutter, which I didn't have one, a nice cutter. I was doing it with my knife. So I'm going to see how I get along with this. So it has got quite a few nice reviews on it. So we shall see how I get on. So I know if lots of you have this already, um, but it's very hard for me. I have to order everything online. I know everybody else does, but um, sometimes it's hard to know which is best. So I'm just going to cut these down, make them a little bit smaller. Okay. So which ones shall we use? Put this down. Use the flowers as the background. Let me do this way. Okay, so I'm going to use this one as the background because one of these will make two, two bigger tags. And what I've got, I've got some bits of card here, and um, which comes in. I, I bought a pack of these, so they are. Let's do it inches. Um, three and three quarters by two and a half inches. So let's pop that up there. And all as I've done, I've got the little piece there. I'm going to pop two on the back like this. I'm just going to stick them down with some of my glue stick. So pop that to the side. Now you can sew around the edges of these if you like. I did on the other ones, but I won't on these because it will save me time. You don't have to see me sewing. So it's easy peasy. So just take a piece of card. You can use any card. You can use any of your cereal boxes or you can recycle. Um, and then what you can do is just cover the back with some tea stain paper or something like that. But I've got these little bits of card, so I thought I would use them. So stick them down. I'm going to just cut them out quickly. Okay, so that's two little ones. Here, look, two, that's the bases of your tags. Now here I have one where I've actually cut two different corners. So I use that as a template. So I'm going to pop that on there like that. And just cut that corner off turn this around see and cut that little corner off and I'm going to use this one here like that on there chop that off there we go so we've got two little tags there look I've done that one upside down but it doesn't really matter Right, so I've got some embellishment bits here and I'm also going to use this one here. I'm going to cut out some of the little um, butterflies on here. Let's just cut out some of these, look. So just take little elements so you can just cut out any of the butterflies, which is the nice thing about digital kits because you can print as many as you like out um, so you can print out a page and just use all the butterflies on it which is lovely I'm going to take a little one like that and then I'm going to take this one and cut the bigger one out I've actually printed this on white paper, just normal um, copy paper. No, actually, I've, it's on 
120 grams, which I'm not quite sure what that is in pounds, but it's a bit, little bit thicker than copy paper, um, ones that you pop through your printer. Um, but you just print it out on whatever you normally do. So just cut these out like that. So we've got a couple of little butterflies on there. Okay. And then we shall have a word. What shall we have? Shall we have wish on this one? Let's cut that out. And just rip this around here. Like that. And then we can ink it. And I've got all my little bits and pieces that we're going to add to them there as well. Okay, so let's have some ink. So you can use up all your little bits and pieces as well. If you've got any um, bits of lace and bits of fabric that you want to use, you can use all those on here. Little bits of trim that you've got. So you just want to sort of, as well, if you can, pick out elements of the colours. So like you've got the purples and you've got some of the pinks from the roses. Um, and it just sort of like makes everything sort of blend together. Just do the wish. There we go. Pop that on. Right, so we'll have a little bit of cheesecloth down. Let's have a little, cut a little piece of this off. Stick this on with a little bit of glue stick. Just there. Like so. And then I'm going to use my three in one on here just to pop this piece on. Because it's the paper over the top of the the cheesecloth, so you need something a little bit stronger to stick it down. There we go. Maybe a little bit more cheesecloth at the top piece. Pop a little bit more on here, I think. Just there. Like that. And then pop down the little butterflies. So you can use you can use um, your Mod Podge or PVA or your art glitter glue. So you can use whatever glue that you normally use as well. They look really pretty. So once you've got all your little elements together. They don't take very long to do at all. So that sticks on there like that. So that looks really pretty, doesn't it? So I've got some of this lovely rose trim. It's absolutely gorgeous. So I'm just going to cut a little bit of this off. Three little flowers here. Pop some glue on. And then we can just stick that down there. that didn't take long did it now what I'm going to do is my little hole punch Got my little hole punch here so we're going to pop that on there like that and then of course we need a little bit of the stick oops, <coughs> oops excuse me pop a little bit of glitter on the on the butterflies just to make them look nice and pretty yeah, look, just a tiny bit, I like that, just to bring out a little bit of sparkle, I think that looks really pretty, doesn't it? And then, what shall we use, a little bit of this seam binding to pop through, which I probably should have done before I put the glitter on really. like that and then we've 
got a lovely little tag, lovely little journaling tag. That would look nice on the front of her journal as well. So doesn't that look pretty? So we've got another one here, like this, look. So now I've got three little tags and they just look so pretty, don't they? So right, I'm going to show you how to make the little diddy ones. Now they're quite easy peasy as well and you don't really need much. So let's have a look. I've got some little tags here. I've got some purple and I've got some white card ones. So I'll do one of each. Look, let me just pop this through here. So on the little ones, you can use um, some of your tiny little cut-off bits of um, lace or ribbon and stuff as well, because they're so small. All the little pieces that you are going to throw away, now's your chance to use them. So you can just pop a little bit of ink on there, like that. I just love butterflies. I think they look just so pretty on anything. So two little tags, a little bit of um, of the cheesecloth on there, like this. Cut that little end bit off. Pop a little bit of glue on either side, either one like that. Easy. Okay, pop that to the side. Now I've got some lovely ribbon here, lovely lace here. This is just so pretty. Just going to cut a little piece off. Doesn't have to be much. Just a tiny bit, so we can stick that down. Just like that. Oopsie daisy. Pop that to the side. A little bit of the three in one on here. The end is a bit goopy, isn't it? Stick a little bit down there. Look. There we go. And a little bit on this side. Whoopsie daisy. Just wipe some of this off. The end's a bit gluey. You only need a tiny bit. Stick that on. Like that. Just wipe the end of this off. There we go. And then I'm going to cut out another little butterfly off here. This one here. don't have to use great big scissors but I like to use big scissors. There we are, little butterfly on there and then we've got a little butterfly just here for the other one. Cut it out. one for that one. Nice little butterfly. So let's have a little bit of glue. Tiny, tiny bit to go on there. A little bit of fiddly to look. Oops. It just sticks on there. They look so delicate, don't they? little bits of trim if you want to. I've got like a little dotty one here. I might pop a couple of these on. What did I do with the end? There it is. Put a 
three little ditty bits. Just pop those on the end. I don't think it matters which is the back and which is the front, really. Stick those down there like that. Oops. There are two lovely little tags and I'm going to pop again a little bit of the stickles on the butterfly just to give it that little bit of sparkle and I think they look really pretty. And what I'm going to do in the next video, I'm going to show you how I made, whoopsie daisy stuck to my finger going to show you how I make this one here with the little belly band and these are the other tags so I'm going to be showing you how to do that one so I'll do a couple of videos um, and we'll make up some embellishments and then we'll make up a little journal at the end to put all the little bits and pieces in okay so what did I do with that other little tag that we just made so we've got this one here oops and this one now this is the one I just made wasn't it so there we go guys these are the lovely little tags and I think they just make such lovely additions to your journals and things so if we popped a little bit of a popped a couple of little ball pins on there and then they can just hang off so quite easy and very very pretty aren't they so they look really really lovely there's a couple of tag ideas so do join me in the next video um, and we will be making that little little folder and some little booklets as well so we've got this little folder and then we've got some little booklets to go in it too all right guys i hope you enjoyed that please do go and take a look at my um etsy shop um, and have a look at these papers because they are just so pretty um, and you can make some lovely lovely bits and pieces with them Alright guys, take care, thank you for joining me and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.